So, Mishra Kalatar, ladies and gentlemen, fellow parishioners, the last few years have clearly been tough times, not least for Jersey, but for every single person affected by the global economic crisis. There have been recently, however, signs of change and recovery. Here in Jersey, we are very fortunate to have a valuable finance centre that is effectively regulated and represented on a global stage. But as we move into the future, however, it is important that whilst maintaining the island's place as a centre of financial excellence, that we also look to broaden what we can offer in an effort to support economic growth and diversification. However, in this time to develop, we must not forget the value of human beings in this. No less, despite hard times passing us by, many hard-working people are still feeling the pinch of the credit crunch. Economic job growth, therefore, must be delivered with job security and a cost of living that people can afford to lead productive lives at. An effective state of Jersey must be in place to ensure that Jersey can quickly navigate its way, strength for strength, to ensure that we can play on the strengths that we have in being an island community, but with global aspirations. Whilst it is clear that we have been making our way out of tough times, it is important, important that we have an accountable government that truly reflects the community in the it has been through strenuous times recently. At the end of last year, the Jersey Annual Social Survey showed that 75% of the respondents did not have faith in the state of Jersey. This followed a year with a referendum that maligned public confidence in the state to bring about democratic reform and infighting amongst various states members who were not perhaps perceived as putting the needs of the island before their own. It is clear that the state of Jersey wishes to regain the trust of people in the island the way that we do politics has got to change. Parishioners, fellow parishioners, I have the pleasure of bringing you Sam Mezek, who despite a relatively young age, arguably perhaps has more political experience than people twice his age. Now Sam has so far been involved in many political activities. At the age of 20, he represented Jersey at the 4th Commonwealth Youth Parliament in London, which culminated in the debate in the House of Lords. Sam has the ability, and as I know, has always had the ability, to ask difficult questions and challenge perhaps authority uh, that is important to a democracy. At 21 years of age, he founded the group Reform Jersey to campaign for improvements to Jersey's democratic system. Sam has the initiative to actively seek democratic change and reform. Samuel studied law at university and worked at a local litigation firm. He understands the importance of legislation. <coughs> Sam was elected chairman of the Lamont Street Youth Centre Studio Management Group, which decided how funding was spent and he organised events for youth artists. Sam has always taken the lead role in community projects such as these. Sam volunteered as assistant to the Vice Bureau in Hammersmith and Fulham whilst at <coughs> university. He is an effective he is an effective constituent, or he is where you're here, he was, he was effective with constituent casework. Sam also helped lead the option A, like, option a group in the last year's referendum campaign. So he has a track record of standing up for the democratic rights of voters. Sam's five priorities to the states, well, Sam's five priorities would be to pressure the states to reduce unemployment and enhance job security for those already in work, address the increasing cost of living. Attempt to bring controls to excessive population growth, to improve housing standards, and to reform the states to increase Helia's voice in government. Ladies and gentlemen, I've had the pleasure of knowing Sam for years now, and having grown up with him, it's an absolute pleasure to be nominating for a position in the states of Jersey. Sam has always, ever since I've known him, been a very passionate individual, and I'm glad to have seen him do this. So I'm very pleased to propose him today. Thank you very much.